What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? As you can see, I'm sitting down today. I don't feel like standing up today, y'all. We're going to have a good conversation. So I want to I wanna be nice and relaxed, all right? Now, I know there's a lot of you guys out there stressing out about your designs. And, you know, it's been pretty much nerve-wracking them of how to come up with new design. But I'm here to help, all right? Because don't get me wrong, there's been times where, you know, I've went through, you know, my same struggles with trying to come up with designs and, you know, try to come up with something, you know, that people would like. Now, first and foremost, uh, everybody might not like your designs, okay? You might not even like your designs, but check this out. I'm going to make it simple and easy for you guys to understand, all right? Now, think about all the countless money that you guys have spent throughout your lifetime, you know, purchasing uh, garments, uh, T-shirts, jackets, hoodies, jeans, sneakers, whatever, slides, hats, right? And you tend to lean towards and go back to things that you like, correct? You know, things that feel that you feel you know, make you feel confident in yourself and you know that you like the quality and the name behind the quality is, you know, stand up and they're just known for having good product, right? So check this out. Let's take a company like Nike, right? Nike came out with the Nike swoosh, right? Now Nike takes this swoosh. It's a basic, crazy, just logo that just pretty much looks like nothing and they throw it on all the products right now think about how many items how much merchandise nike just took just that one swoosh put it on a t-shirt hoodie whatever shorts uh uh sports equipment and turned that into millions upon millions of dollars one little logo big or small they take their swoosh and they throw it on one t-shirt. They throw that one swoosh on a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, a red t-shirt, or a yellow t-shirt. That's five different t-shirts. They all look different because the color is different, but that one logo might just be the same color. One little white Nike swoosh or uh, a black Nike swoosh. Simple. Okay, so my advice to you would just be, you know, study, do your research. This is what I do. It's not, it, 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 it's not as hard as you might think it is. Okay, go to, you know, your local uh, mall or whatever and just, 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 just look around. Look around at, you know, uh, some of the things that you might potentially want to purchase and, and, just, and, and just pay attention to detail. It's just, all right, check this out. Like, I like, I like, don't get me wrong, I, I, I love my own brand, but, you know, over the years, I've accumulated things that, you know, other uh, manufacturers or companies have made that, you know, I'm into, like Adidas. Now, check this out. Take this, look at this royal blue, right, Adidas track jacket okay you got your basic small adidas written out logo on the left chest but you got your traditional adidas three strike design going down both sleeves okay nothing on the back plain basic it up as all always a classic all right this particular jacket i'm about to blow y'all minds real quick this particular jacket right here was made in jordan okay as we go throughout this video pay attention to it pay attention to what i'm saying this one jacket right here was manufactured in jordan okay so let's set this to a side here's another one navy blue same company adidas right they got the old school, they call this the, the Adidas original logo. 
But as you can see, you got this, the, the, it still got this three stripes in their logo. Same three stripes going down, you know, both sleeves, but it's, it's just in white this time. And the base of the garment is navy blue. All right, so now let's, I don't even have to unzip it. Okay, yeah, and on their tag, their tag reads, the brand with the three stripes. So everybody already knows that Adidas is always and forever will be recognized for having their three traditional stripes, okay? But let's see where this particular jacket was made. Okay, now this jacket right here, same, same, same company, says that this jacket was made in the Philippines. Okay, keep paying it, pay attention. So we got Jordan, and we got we got two track jackets made from the same company. One was made in Jordan, one was made in the Philippines. Okay, we got one more. Same company, Adidas, another track jacket. Okay. Left chest, just, you know, same. Uh, we got the three stripes with the Adidas on the left chest. A little smaller logo, but still, you know it's their company, okay? Same traditional three stripes going down both sleeves, okay? Same material, same everything, all right? Now, this particular jacket right here, though, was made in Vietnam okay so we got Vietnam we got Jordan and we got the Philippines now you might be saying to yourself wow but it's it's it's, it's Adidas I thought you know Adidas was made in the United States no people you got to pay attention these big companies outsource and they pretty much throw out you know they throw out they, they throw out the designs and they go with the cheapest manufacturers that's gonna that's gonna make their garments, you know, the cheapest and fastest. And that way, when they get the product back, they can make more bang for their buck. The cheaper you get all your things made, the more you could potentially make on the back end. So they don't have just one manufacturer, they got multiple manufacturers. So that's why, you know, when people ask me all the time, you know, who's your manufacturer? And it's like, well. I don't have just one manufacturer. I choose, I use multiple manufacturers. You know, it depends on what I'm making at the time. Okay, now, not to say that, you know, you're wrong for being locked in with one manufacturer. If that's what you want to do. But, I mean, don't don't limit yourself. Okay, now let me get back into, you know, what I was saying, you know, pertaining to uh, designs. So, there's some companies that, that just take one basic design and they just keep selling it over and over and over and over and over again. So don't ever think you don't ever think that you know you got to come up with uh, multiple multiple designs. I mean, if people like what you're putting out, they're gonna keep coming back and spending money with you. Now think about think about the Jordan brand. Come on now. Who doesn't like Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan has been selling you guys the same sneakers, the exact same sneakers for years, over and over and over and over again. Yeah, he has other, you know, concepts that he comes out with and, you know, you know, people support and stuff like that. But his main hub is his same traditional sneakers that he keeps coming out with year after year after year the prices keep going up and up and up and people are still buying them. you know why because they love michael jordan they love what michael jordan represents and how these particular sneakers or his brand how they make them feel okay so so when you're when you're thinking about what you potentially want to do with your own don't don't all i'm saying is don't stress yourself out over it because it could be something like real basic, you know, that can pretty much take you over the top if people, you know, like it. You know, think about, you know, uh, lacrosse, you know, with their little uh, small logo that they put on all their uh, garments, you know, the small little alligator. Like, come on now, it's just a small basic little alligator, you know. So what I'm all I'm saying is go out. Do your research, study, 
and then you know go back to the drawing board and just wing it okay now with my brand uh yeah yeah i do have multiple designs and stuff like that but there's sometimes that you know i come up with designs and i just i never put them out because you know i i don't like them and that's fine but the more you design the more you know you sharpen your talents you know they you know you know the term still sharp and still so i'm always you know constantly coming up with something even if i don't like it but i still got my main hub of designs that i just keep using over and over and over and over again and i just pretty much just change the color or i change the or i change the garment you know that i'm that i'm putting the actual logo on like my standard you know dc yop uh garments that i make you know the acronym for direction choose your own path i could take that you know, DCYOP and just put it on any freaking thing at this point. You know what I'm saying? Even if I got, even if I, even if I'm just using a standard white or black, you know, I could throw that on, you know, a red hoodie, a navy blue hoodie, uh, a white t-shirt, a gray t-shirt, whatever. You know, but then I'll double back, you know, and I use some of my other designs. You know, I'll go with my Wii Major, okay, and then I could, like, there you go, product placement. I could use, I can go, you know, Chanel with the Wii Major, or I could go Plastic Soul Transfers with the remake with the Wii Major, what have you. All right, you know, then I can go with, the, then I can hit you with the Me Frosty, okay, and then I can hit you with the Unfamous. All right, now all these designs and logos that I come up with, they're still all underneath my DCYOP Direction Choose Your Own Path conglomerate. Okay, that's just like, that's just like having, that's just like, let's let's take a company like Toyota, okay? Underneath Toyota, you know, Toyota has, you know, their different vehicles that, you know, they produce. You got your Land Cruiser, you got, uh, you, you, you got your Toyota Corolla, okay? You got your Toyota freaking, you got your Camry, you got your Supra, you got your Tacoma, this and that. All right, so you could just take your one brand, right, and just build off of that. Just build off of that, okay? So, once again, uh, don't stress yourself out over, you know, coming up with designs. Sometimes you could just keep it basic and skyrocket and take off. Now, before I end this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, you know, to, to let me know. That you're feeling the content I'm making. Hit that bell. Make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. Every time I drop new content, you guys chime in. Let me know how you're feeling. Uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about. Oh, now, before I leave, I'm wearing a t-shirt by a family member. You know, that's trying to get their feet wet in the game. Okay? You know? Nice little logo he got going on right here for his brand. His brand is called Stands For. Okay? Now, even with him right now, you know, he got a bunch of uh, different designs. You know, sometimes, you know, it, it, it feels like, you know, it could be overwhelming for him. But, you know, he's still pushing through, pushing through. It's all a learning process, people. We're not going to knock everything out the park. Okay, so don't give up. I hope every I hope everybody is doing a good job, you know, working on a brand, building on your brand. But always, always remember at the end of the day, you gotta choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.